Hi again, friends. I decided to turn on a camera again and do another get ready with me, whatever you want to call these. I really, really enjoy these because they're just really casual and fun. Um, I am getting ready because tonight is Manny and Jeffrey's launch party. They collaborated on two liquid lipsticks and a highlight, I believe, that is launching in a few days. So tonight is their big launch party and I am super excited to be attending. Thank you so much, Jeffrey and Manny, for the invite. Um, so wanted to kind of just turn on the camera and get ready. As you guys know, sitting at my vanity, you can always tell with the lighting because when I'm really in my setup, everything is completely different. But from what I've heard from you guys, you've been really liking these because they're super, super casual and you feel like you're kind of just hanging out with me. Today is like a hand day because I'm all about these right now. I got my nails done. Don't look at this. I, look at this. I lost a diamond. It is like, it's probably somewhere in the ocean by now. But, um, yeah, just been really liking my nails. <laughs> so let's get started. I don't really know what look I want to do, but there are uh, quite a lot of products that just launched that I haven't played with, so I figure I would play with them. And I haven't worn makeup in probably over a week ever since I came back from traveling. You guys know I got sick. There's just a lot going on right now, and some of the stuff are like secret projects I can't really discuss yet, so it's things have been really crazy, but I'm glad that I'm finally sitting down with you guys today and just hanging out and having fun and and doing our makeup and playing with cosmetics and just having fun like what it should be on YouTube, but we're not just going to go there. <laughs> Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I already kind of groomed my brows. Now I'm trying to grow out my brows a little bit, so I'm not like shaving them too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I already have a brow routine on my channel, so I'll go ahead and link that down below. Nothing has changed, but I will be right back. Now that we are done with the brows, I went super soft actually. I've been really, I've been really into soft brows lately. Not really into the Instagram brows as much anymore. Once in a while, I like to, but I've been trying um, same technique, same brand and everything, but instead of the Precisely My Brow Pencil, I've been using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and the Goof Proof is the thicker one with um, the angled uh, pencil, and it's really, really nice. It's a little bit different, but I like it. I'm I just, I've been really liking the soft brows lately, you guys. Next, we are going to moisturize. And as always, I like to use my moisturizer that I created with Ofra Cosmetics. It is called Wanderlush and it is still available on their website. Um, I will link it down below. I'm going to work this into my face. And now this is a great hydrating primer. So it's gonna give you that extra hydration that we all need, especially in the summertime that's like around the corner. It's a water-based formula. So it feels like a gel on your face and it sinks into the skin. It's really nice, really smooth. But my favorite part is that it really locks in your makeup. So it makes your makeup last super long. I've been reading all the reviews about Wanderlust and literally, it's like a literally a 9.5 out of 10. There's probably like one or two comments. Like it didn't really work for me. Like I didn't love it that much, but the rest are like so, so amazing. Like everybody is obsessed with it and it makes me so happy because Wanderlush was my first collaboration. So it's my first baby. Like I was very, very nervous, nervous about it, but I believed in the product so much and it just warms my heart that people worldwide absolutely love the product and it's it's crazy because i took a really big risk doing a skincare collab um you know instead of a liquid lipstick or a palette or whatever it may be i took a really big risk because skincare has been something that has always you know been a part of my life and i love it and i feel like i always talk about my skin and you guys always ask about my skin so it just made perfect sense but I know a lot of people were just kind of like, why did she do a moisturizer? And I like to be different. I like to be a little bit of a savage and a daredevil and, you know, kind of do things a little different. But I want to say thank you so much to everybody who has purchased it and who continues to purchase it. I, Ofra's telling me that some of you are buying like five a day. Like it's crazy. Um, but... Thank you so much. It, it means the world to me. For foundation, I've been using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And I have been using this for probably 
the last month. I haven't used anything else. I really like this. It's really nice on the skin. It gives really nice coverage, but it's definitely not medium or full. So if you're someone who likes to cake it on, this won't be your favorite. But if you're someone like me who kind of just wants to cover up a little bit of redness um, and just kind of look presentable, this is gonna be your baby. I'm in the color 3.5. And I'm just going to work it in with this Real Techniques Expert Brush, I believe. This has been my favorite brush since probably high school, which was like five years ago. So we're just going to work it in. For concealing and highlighting, I've been really liking this. Um, so you guys already know about this. I use it in every video. I use it all the time. It's my hands down favorite concealer. If you can get your hands on this, definitely try it. I know it's always out of stock, which sucks. It's the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape, and I've been using Light Sand lately. I like it a little bit more and have to talk about this brush. This is the Morphe Brushes Y10, and it looks like this. It's part of their Rose Gold Collection. I am so in love with this. I've been using it for the last maybe two to three weeks and I've been using it to buff in concealer under the eyes but I've also been putting a little bit of foundation it's where I really want to maybe focus on covering up that area a little bit more I absolutely love it if you're looking for a really good kind of mini more controllable buffing brush I definitely recommend this one I'll link it down below for you guys but same thing not gonna, really going to do anything different we're just gonna dab a little bit under the eye. And with this, I like to kind of spread the product out like so. And then I like to buff it in. I'm not gonna do circular motions as I would do with my foundation. That's really gonna irritate the concealer area. You just wanna buff it into the skin and brighten up that under eye. And with this formula, it's really blendable, but it gives you really great coverage. So. The blending is great, it's super easy as you can see, and the brush is so nice. It's really soft, but there's so many bristles and they're so dense but flexible at the same time. So it's basically a dream buffing brush. It does everything that you need and it just fits great under the eye or in like certain spots if you wanna maybe focus conceal in those spots only, you know? And then to set that under eye area, I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline Better Skin Super stay. I should probably know the name of this by now. I've like literally already hit pan on it. And I'm just gonna use my setting brush from Real Techniques and take that powder and I'm just going to go directly in and set my under eye area. After setting those areas with the Maybelline uh, powder, I'm gonna go in with this new, it's not new, it's new to me. <laughs> This MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix powder in the color NC30. And apparently this is really full coverage, so I shouldn't use a lot, but I'm feeling like I should cake it on today. And I'm just going to use this to set the rest of my face. And then to bronze the face, I'm going to use the Becca Cosmetics Capri Coast New Bronzer. Not really contouring today. I just want to really deepen up that the side of the face, you know. Has a really nice sin sin. Has a really nice sun kiss uh, feel. It's not too matte, but it doesn't have a lot of like the shimmer reflex. It's just at the perfect consistency. Ooh, this might be this might be my favorite bronzer this summer. Like I have a feeling, it's super pretty. This is like the perfect bronze goddess formula. I really like this product. Pretty. I don't really cake a lot of, I like, I, I love wearing makeup, but I don't really, cake it on often so once in a while when I do like full coverage it feels kind of cool you know next we're gonna highlight for a highlight today I'm not really sure what I'm feeling for blush I definitely want to use benefit California because it looks really pretty but for highlight 
I always use the Jouer Topaz because that's my favorite. I did just get this Tom Ford highlight right here. But I'm not like in love with it yet, so I don't know if I want to use it today. There is also this Dior highlight right here. I might try this Dior highlight in 003. Ooh, the packaging's really pretty. And that's pretty. It's really gold tone. The highlight was really nice. Um, I'm so excited for this. I haven't even uh, swatched it, so I have no idea. This palette sold out in the first like 20 minutes, by the way, but I think it's back, so I'll link it down below for you guys. Oh, isn't she pretty? So I'm a, wow, this one smells bomb. I'm a big fan of the Benefit Cosmetics uh, Cheekathon palette. It's the pink one with dandelion in it. That one's my favorite. When I was traveling, the mirror broke, so I was really, really disappointed. But the Cheek Parade palette comes with the normal Hoola, which is their original one that's super popular. Hoola Light, which is great for more fair tones. California, which is their new blush. Dandelion, which is my all-time favorite blush. And then Rocketeer, which has a little bit of reflex in it. So if you have textured skin, that might, be, might not be your favorite. And then it comes with a brush. So I'm going to use California on my cheeks today. I'm very, very excited. It has a coral out, outside, like surrounding. And then in the middle, there's gold reflex. So I think that gold is gonna go really nicely with the Dior highlight, cause the Dior highlight's really golden. Ooh, that's pretty. It's so weird because it goes on as a coral, but when you rotate your face like this, you see a slight bit of gold reflex. And that's so pretty. I also love the um, the blush design with the sun and everything. I think that's really pretty. Benefit always has like the cutest things. It's really pretty. I approve. Okay, now I'm feeling really dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. And for that, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then we're gonna start with our eyeshadow. So I was going to use the 35, um, the new 35R Morphe palette, which if you follow Morphe on Instagram, you probably have seen this palette a million times, but I want to do a more fun look with that and I don't really have time. I only have like 30 minutes left to do my makeup and then I have to go kind of like get dressed and do my hair and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do, um, since, since I'm on a time crunch, is going with the um, Nubian Juvia's Place palette. It looks like this. It has all of these beautiful, warm brown tones that you guys know I'm so obsessed with. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do this with like a wing liner and then maybe smoke out the edges in some lion-hearted lashes and then a glossy lip. So I think what I'm gonna do is this, what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go in with my MAC Cosmetics Painterly Paint Pot, and we're gonna use this to uh, set, kind of like primer eyelids. And then I'm gonna set my whole eye area. You don't always need a powder in a palette to set your uh, primer. Just go in with the powder that you use for your face. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the Juvia's Place palette and take this brown right here, a very warm, peachy, light brown. And we're just gonna work that in the crease area. And when I blend my eyeshadow, I like to do miniature circular motions. It blends the product way easier. I feel like when I go back and forth with windshield wiper motions, I tend to leave like a line, you know? So I do just mini miniature circular motions back and forth and that'll guarantee you a pretty nice blend. Like I said, this eye is gonna be pretty quick and easy. I'm gonna go in with that Tarte liner that I've been wanting to try for so long now. I've heard great things about it, so very excited. Looks like this. Ooh, that tip is really fine. And I am going to do a quick winged liner.
That was a really good liner. Oh my gosh. Look how black it is. I've never, I've never had a liner that was this black. Dude, I would sell an organ for this. After my liner's done, which I'm obsessed with, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get a pretty dark color. I'm gonna go ahead and take this brown right here, like a dark chestnut brown. What in the world do you use this brush for? Sometimes I have brushes that I'm like, the heck do I do with it? Ooh, let's use this e.l.f. brush. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. crease brush and take a little bit of that brown of the crease, I mean on the tip of the brush. And I'm gonna start from like right in the middle of the wing, right here, if you guys can see. And I'm just gonna blend it into the crease and stop midway on my lid. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an even more precise brush. Ooh, probably this one, it's like fluffy. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take this deepest, darkest color right here. It's like a nice gray tone, dark color. And we're gonna deepen up that V even more. You wanna keep it under that brown that we just put though, but you kinda just wanna fade it into the liner. Like so, that looks pretty. First time doing this, I've really, I'm like kind of winging this, I have no idea what I'm doing. Hey, <laughs> I'm winging it. So you wanna keep it towards the liner and then deepen that outer corner. Take that elf brush with nothing on it and just wanna blend out the edges. Ooh, this is pretty, you guys. That took like two seconds and look at that blend. It's real nice. Oh, that's nice. You see that blend right there? That's what we want, you guys. That right there is what we want. I'm gonna pop on some lashes. Of course, I will be using my very own Lionhearted lashes. They were they went into restock last week, but then it sold out again. They will be back in about two weeks. So follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat because that's where I announce the restocks and you guys can get it right away. Um, they're just absolutely amazing. Uh, duh. I'm gonna put on some Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And for the lips today, I'll be going in with the Tarte Cosmetics Lip Arch Architect. Architect. <laughs> um, the Tarte, the Lip Architect Lipstick and Liner. Am I saying that wrong? Architect? Architecture. Architect. Why does that sound so weird? I think I'm having one of those moments where certain words just sound weird. And this is in the color Romantic. One side is a liner, and then the other side is the actual lip product in crayon form. And I did swatch this earlier, and it felt really nice. It's a really nice rose, like a dusty rose baby pink color. It's really velvety. Super creamy, super velvety, I like it. This is also the perfect baby pink color too. So I'm gonna use my Chanel lip gloss that I just bought. I'm gonna use this color. It's like a baby pink color and I think it would go perfect with this Tarte lip color. This is the brand new Chanel Rouge Cocoa Gloss in the color 226. So when I put lip gloss, I only put it on the lower part here and then the top of my lip. I don't put it on the inner rim because if you put it on the inner rim when you talk, the gloss is gonna get all over your teeth. So I've learned to only do like the lower part and then the tippy top. Okay friends, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching me get ready. Hopefully you were getting ready with me. That would've been super cool. Leave a comment down below because I love running through the comments and reading every single one of them. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure that the bell button is turned on so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Everything they need to know will be listed down there in the description bar including brushes, products, colors, and discount codes. I will see you in my next video. I gotta get going or else I'm gonna be late to this party. I love you very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye my loves.